What's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope we're all doing absolutely fantastic and today as usual we're gonna continue with the daily stoic and finish the current chapter which is April. So tomorrow we will continue with the new one but let's finish the April part first. So two more meditations out of this book right now. Let's get started. Washing away the dust of life. Watch the stars in their courses and imagine yourself running, running alongside them. Think constantly on, on the changes of the elements into each other. For such thoughts, wash away the dust of earthly life. Marcus Aurelius Meditations It is almost impossible to stare up at the stars and, don't, and not feel something. As cosmologist Neil deGrasse Tyson has ex explained, the cosmos fills us with complicated emotions. On the one hand, we we feel an infinite infinitesimal smallness in comparison to the vast universe. On the other, an extreme connectedness to the larger whole. Obviously, given that we are in our bodies every day, it's tempting to think that that's the most important thing in the world. But we, we counteract that bias by looking at nature, at things much bigger than us. A line from Seneca, which has since become a proverb, expresses Marcus, Marcus inside. Well, the world itself is a huge temple of all gods. Looking at the beautiful expanse of the sky, is an antidote to the nagging pettiness of earthly concerns. And it is good and sovereign to lose yourself in that as often, often as you can. What is in keeping with your character? Just as what is con considered rational or irrational differs for each person. In the same way, what is good or evil and useful or useless differs to each person. This is why we need education, so that we may learn how to adjust our preconceived notions of the rational and irrational in harmony with nature. In sorting this out, we don't simply rely on our estimate of the value of external things, but also apply the rule of what is in keeping with one's character. Epictetus Discourses. It is easy to get wrapped up in our own opinion, opinions of things. It's as if we are adhering to invisible scripts, following instructions or patterns we don't even understand. The more you question these scripts and the more you subject them to the rigorous test of your education, the more you'll be your own compass. You will have convictions and thoughts that you're that are your own and belong to no one else. Character is a powerful defense in a world that would love to be able to seduce you, buy you, tempt you, and change you. If you know what you believe and why you believe it, you'll avoid poisonous relationships, toxic jobs, fair weather friends and any number of ills that afflict people who haven't thought through their deepest concerns. That's your education. That's why you do this work. All right, guys. So tomorrow we will start with a new chapter, which is May. And thank you for joining me today on this video. I'm going to see you tomorrow on the next one. Bye.